Can you see me? Or I'm talking to the passenger. 今天我们很难得可以来到宾士位于德国伊门丁根的测试中心。宾士其实不仅是汽车的发明者，同时也发明了各种安全机制，从最基本的安全带、安全气囊到先进的主动防御功能。宾士不仅是领跑者，同时也是最懂得如何测试这些功能是否真的有用的测试大师。这个场地就是宾士所有安全机制的测试场，也是工程师们的超级游乐场。他们可以设置各种道路场景。测试车辆的极限以及安全配备是否发挥正常。接下来就让我们用肉身体验，检视这些先进安全功能吧。I will accelerate very fast, and again, I'm the worst driver ever. I will not react, and let's push our system now to the very last limit. Wow! So did you see that? Yeah. A very critical situation. We have uh, cars on the right side, parking cars. Yes. Uh, and they um, yeah, block actually that child coming from the right side. Yeah, so your feet is still on the accelerator. It's still here, yeah. Paddle. And you see we are still on drive mode. So now I have to confirm by the accelerator so that we can okay. proceed. Okay. Make left here. Oh, that's a nice SUV over there. I'm probably still looking at it. And now I overlooked the motorcycle that was yeah. oncoming. And also here in this situation, active brake assist intervened. I was not touching the brake in any way. Again, I'm looking at this beautiful vehicle in front of me. I'm not really paying attention to anything. I totally overlooked the motorcyclist again. Okay. And here also, now you see the autonomous brake intervention, like directly full braking yeah. um, to save us and the motorcyclist. So now you see the red triangle, I open the door and we even get an illumination of the ambient light showing me that there is a cyclist coming. And this helps me actually to see what's going on and to prevent uh, the critical situation with dooring. 测试过各种安全机制后，宾士还想要降低一种道路风险，就是驾驶疲劳，所以他们成为全世界第一个在德国和美国能够合法上路的 Level 三自动驾驶车厂。这样的技术实际使用起来，和现在常见的 Level 二有什么不同呢 ？Lights and also with the A of the in, in the instrument cluster for the vehicle ahead. So when I press the button, now it's flashing. That's、uh, while the system is starting, and when it's available, it's staying solid, turquoise. And now the system is active. I can put off my hands off the steering wheel. I can put my feet away from the gas pedal and the brake pedal. And the,、um, the car is doing the driving, the, the、uh, dynamic driving task by its own.、Mm -hmm. So may maybe you recognize there was a vehicle cutting in. The system is doing that all by its own, without、um, that I need to do anything. So while this vehicle is driving in that mode, you are able to do secondary tasks like watch a movie, write an email, something like that. You are able to have、uh, full access to all functions of the head unit.、Um, so you can, in, in boring situations, in traffic jams, you'll be able to do other things which are not so boring, like following the vehicle ahead. So now we lost our lead vehicle, and after a few seconds, you will see we get a takeover request. This is the this is what Jochen was talking about. You、yeah. see the red lights. Now my my seat belt was also tightened, and that indicate that、um, the driver has to take over the control again. I can press the the hard key, the button, and then the vehicle will will start to to drive to the to the end position. Okay. I trained this morning once. <laughs> um, I can show you later.、Um, then we start now. Then the the lines are going green, and then the vehicle will start to move. Now it tries to to match starting position or trained position to my starting position now. And now so the vehicle tries to match, and then when we are on the on the correct track, then it it drives. Information about the height, the suspension, the drive,、uh, the, the height itself, where you can 
uh, level up uh, the, uh, the vehicle itself and then you also have here the, the camera uh, button and now you see the front of our vehicle, we see the tires. The real big benefit is when I have a steep hill like in yeah, here, up here. That, that's, that's going really uh, heavy up. Um, that I say, okay, now I can really focus here also on the, the view in here because now the the hood is uh, is covering yeah. the road yeah. and I can't see the road anymore here yeah. through the window, but I can see here where uh, we are driving yeah. and I can just follow here this picture um, that we are now here on the on the upside. Uh, path without seeing what's what's going what's going up cool. so it's more a, a visual support for the driver because we have realized many off-road drivers are using the uh, camera views from the parking to let them guide through the heavy um, forest roads uh -huh. 参观完冰室测试中心的一连串技术后，对马路上的各种状况感到更加害怕了。但是不是也开始觉得聪明一点的汽车真的能够帮助我们降低风险呢？冰室希望在不久后能将 Level 3自动驾驶的速限增加到时速130公里，届时人们在高速公路上就可以更加轻松移动。好期待这个未来早点在台湾实现啊！